Oh, and are you ready to be chased by the spirits of old Hawaii? Well, this haunted attraction is located at a real haunted village. The real deal. Chris Latronic joining us now live in Waipahu with more. Aloha and good morning, Chris. Aloha and good morning to you, Sam and Christine. Yes, it looks like I'm stuck in the haunted plantation. This door is now stuck, and right here, there's so much different areas here that's already spooky. And it's a daytime here, over here in Waipahu at Hawaii's Plantation Village. Uh, so I've been looking for my friend Noah, who's the founder and curator. Noah, where, there you are. Right here. I almost <laughs> got lost. So tell me, where are we right now? We're at Hawaii's Plantation Village here in Waipahu. Okay, and this is site of the haunted plantation. You started this about in 2006. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how's it been since? Uh, it's crazy every year. It's sold out. It sells out. It sells out really quick. Um, it's awesome, you know, to have the support of the community. It's kind of a tradition now, and I feel kind of old because you know people say, "Oh, I bring my kids now," and then, you know, I mean that's almost 18 years, wow. you know, so of creating this Halloween tradition, which is what we always wanted to try and do uh -huh. and create something scary, spooky, but something for the family. I mean, not for children under 13, but, you know, <laughs> older than that. And uh, it's a good um, bonding experience, I guess you could say. Yes. You know, so tell me, yeah, and one of the big aspects of it is we're actually in mm -hmm. a somewhat haunted village. So tell me where we are at right now in this house. Uh, we're in the Japanese duplex, and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people see, they see, they see apparitions. Um, just in the windows and yeah, creepy stuff here when they walk past and yeah. uh, nobody's in here. And so. speaking of creepy, actually, Bob, turn around. There's a, this, uh, the costumes are super original because you guys do this all in house by oh, yeah. yourself and others. Tell me about that. Yeah, um, so all the costumes, prosthetics, makeup is all done in house. We actually have our own um, effects studio um, out in uh, LA. Mm -hmm. So we fly out there, create our stuff, and it's evolved from, you know, getting, you know, wow. cheapy masks in the earlier, you know, latex wow. masks in the earlier years to actually creating our own customized um, silicone masks, foam latex prosthetics, and makeup and stuff. Wow, and all added to this beautiful set, which is just yeah. amazing. So tell me a little bit more about the aspects of this house. Um, well, the house, as I said before, it's just, the Haunted Plantation is an indoor, outdoor haunted uh, attraction. So you walk inside, outside, it's the whole village. Um, and it doesn't look like much now, you know, but uh, during the actual event, we have a, a team that comes every day and dresses everything up. Um, a really good professional team. Um, the whole place is filled with fog, uh, sounds, customized scores, music. Um, of course, again, just dressed with a whole team of uh, like 50 to 60 actors, depending on the night. So uh, just that whole culmination of uh, spooky stuff, you know, here at the village uh, yes. creates just an awesome thing. Mm -hmm. And it's been awesome, as he was saying, it, it sells out all the time. So we're yeah. giving you the early heads up right now. The next show is going to be this coming Friday. So make sure you get your tickets early here at Hoy's Plantation Village, the site of the haunted plantation. This is Chris Atronic reporting live from the spot in Waipahu, sending things back to you. And that's in the daytime. Yeah, pretty ominous even in the daytime, right? Yeah, imagine that night. Ooh.